Yep. So today we are doing um, another one of my lockdown out of kit beginners um, demos. We are doing a lovely ulcerated. Um, hello, Olivia. Olivia Gerard, ladies and gentlemen, an amazing, amazing prosthetics makeup artist. She's incredible. She worked on Maleficent. Um, she's fabulous. Um, well, her most recent work is Maleficent, I believe. Um, and it's incredible. So do check out her work, Olivia Ger Gerard. Hello, Charlotte, fabulous makeup artist. So as I said, we're back for our beginners um, sessions. Um, today, we're doing a very, very quick one, um, an ulcerated lip. So we're gonna do a little lip ulcer just there. Now, as you know, lip ulcers are when you have a an infection, you get a, um, hello, Charlotte, I'm good, darling. I'm good, I'm getting there. Thank you very much, I'm really good. You get um, um, an ulcer begins with a boil or an infection that eats the flesh away and then you get a gap in the middle which might have a, a boil on top which you can then burst. In this case the, the ulcer has burst, we are left with essentially the gap in the middle so we're creating this sort of shape going in that way. Uh, how are you Charlotte? Is your, have you finished your university work? I hope you have. So we're playing with Sculpt Gel again, A and B. Addition Cure Silicons. I've got my little takeaway mixing palette. We're not doing a lot of product here, okay? This is a very, very quick demo. So as I said, that's my A. That's my, and then obviously put your lids back on. And as I said, keep your tools. I'm using a spoon because my kit's still locked at Seventa Makeup Academy. Um, oh my God, Kirsty! Hello, Kirsty, Gorgeous. Um, another fabulous makeup artist. Everyone's joining today. Kirsty, makeup artist and also 3D effects artist. Uh, she's moving to the other camp. So move the spoon. And we go for B. Hello, hello. Another Magda, hello. Ulcerated lips, ladies and gentlemen. Ulcerated lips. So A and B. Give it a good mix. Hello. I'm sorry I've been away for a few weeks. Or about a week, just over. Uh, wasn't very well, so took a bit of time away. But here we are. So really, you just keep mixing it. I don't want you to use sort of product. I want you to start thinking about your product management um, and how much product you're going to need to do a job. Because the amount of product you'll have to cost a job. And it's very important that you think about this. So there you go, let's put that away. This one gone. These are my little tools, my wax tools. Gorgeous little tools. Um, oh, just someone messaged me. I don't know who that is, never mind. Not important. So I'm using my lovely, gorgeous comedone remover. I've had this since, God, I can't remember. remember. I've had this for years. I've had, I think I've had it 20 years now. But it's still available and useful. Clean my spoon. You don't want to leave silicon lying about the place because it can get sticky and messy and then you end up with it everywhere. I mean, that's essentially how much I'm going to be using, okay? Not much. So this is an ulcerated lip. Little ulcerated lip. Hello Theo, gorgeous Theodore Salisbury, owner of Exilion FX Studios. I believe Theo that the Exilion program is pretty much full. If you are, if it's not, Theo can tell you and you can apply for the program, the traineeship program. I am one of the mentors. Um, but I'm not sure if the, the the program's full. Can you, if you're still online, can you let us know? Um, we also did a fa fabulous interview with Theo. There's another gonna, we're going to be doing another interview with Theo very soon about 3D printing and also 3D sculpting. But anyway, we have two spaces left. Amazing. Two spaces on our pro program. Any makeup artist online wanting to get some film experience, be on a traineeship program, um, apprenticeship, well, yeah, traineeship, apprenticeship, mentorship program, um, Exilian FX Studios, have a look at us, we're there. 
Seventy Makeup Academy and myself are mentors on this. So have a look at us. Right, okay. Very quick ulcerated lip using Sculpt Gel. Now, you're going to have to build it up quite high because you need to take some away. So don't be scared of building it up high, okay? Because you will be taking stuff away. And again, think about your edges. When you're doing this. Yeah, keep thinking about those lovely edges that we you always know me to go on about. So I use a tiny bit of IPA once I've put the silicone down just to break it out and clean it up. And you can go in, I'm going in a little bit as you can see. Yeah, I'm going in a little bit. All right. Can you see that? So now you need to carve out in a minute the ulcer. You really need, just need, it's just about working on the shape now. Using this little tool now. Okay, I'm just going to get um, a hair dryer very quickly. To speed up the process. Now when it comes to silicone, the warmer it is, the quicker it goes. When it comes to gelatin, the colder it is, the quicker it goes. So, because it's on my lip, it might take a little while, so we just need to make sure it's really dry before I start painting. Can you see? Can you see the shape inside? Can you see the ulcer shape? Yeah? And although I've got a, a hole in the middle, what I've done with my... I haven't done my, my, my walls like that and then a hole. What I've done is I've kind of done that that sort of shape going up smoothing into the skin making sure that there's no edge making sure there's no edge and then the ulcer there okay
It's nearly there. It's nearly there. Hello, Angie. We're back. We're back after a little while away. Doing a lovely little lip ulcer. Ulcerated lip. Very simple. That will do. So we've done a very quick ulcer. You can see the shape. Yeah. So now we want to give it a quick powder. Again, I want you to start thinking about your, the amount of products you work on and how much you're using, okay? So you can see it now. Yeah? Now you can go in, but bear in mind, if you were to do it in there, because that's wet, it would be quite hard. And you can do it. You just have to keep it a little like this. And make sure that's dry. So you might need to use a dentist clamp just to keep the lip open, or a bit of tape. Right, so today we will paint with, um, what should we paint with today? Let's go for Ben, uh, no, let's go for Ben Nye. Essential effects palette in Greece. And we're gonna go quite bright inside because obviously it's my little ulcer. So you go for a very small, you go for a little brush. You want to keep that as bright as possible, okay? Now, any of you that have had lip ulcers are hideous, hideous things. Now, what I'm doing is I'm mixing two colours. I'm mixing the red, fresh cut, that one, and my burnt coral. To really make it a kind of... My sony pink, can you see? Oh, that looks angry. Now you can then afford to put a tiny bit of the darker, dark crimson, which is this one there. You can put that on the side, if you wish, inside to line the walls very gently. Like so. Remember, less is more. <laughs> right? So now, let's clean that up. So now we're going to put a little bit of angry colour around it. We now go to my trusty Paradise Meron Pro Colouring SFX. You want a small stipple brush. A little bit of alcohol. We're going to work with this colour. Excuse me. Um, okay, well, that's the kind of colour you're trying to achieve, okay? And you just Now you should see the white skin, okay? That you should see that. So please don't be aware. In that way, I 
And there you go. Lovely, gorgeous, ulcerated, simple lip. It's taken me 12 minutes, if that. Yeah, and most of it is the drying. Most of it is the drying of the um, sculpture. Sorry, my nose is really droopy today. Um, very, very easy. Very, hello, Nicoletta. My God, that Nicoletta, fabulous artist as well. Fabulous sculpting artist. We're doing the beginners. SFX lockdown, ulcerated lip, 12 minutes, sculpture, very simple, very easy. Right guys, the products today we have used um, Ben Nye, all by the way available from Treasure House, Treasure House of Makeup, Ben Nye Essential Effects Palette, I've used Meron Pro Colouring SFX. I've used my trusted Delian brushes, these three, which are 153, 129, 184, and then I've obviously used AMB Sculptural. All available from Treasure House of Makeup. I'm Ian for Seventa Makeup Academy. I'm so back to be. I'm so glad to be back. Them own again. Um, please stay safe. Keep safe. We're still not out of the murky water. There's still a lot of work to be done. You need to keep safe. You need to keep your family safe. Do Treasure House do a pro discount? Oh my God, Angie! I'm so glad you asked, darling. Exactly. Our pro discount is at the moment on lock for everyone. Everyone, whether you're a pro, you're a student, 25% off. Angie, get in there because. I don't know how long they're going to keep this open. And um, if you are, Angie, you're a pro artist. Nicoletta, you're a pro artist. You can apply for the pro scheme afterwards. But at the moment, everyone gets the pro, pro discount, which is 25% off. Um, keep at this. Keep working. Keep safe. Uh, and I will see you again on, where are we now? On Friday. Take care. Bye. Bye-bye-bye.